Hello everyone. What are antibodies? What are the types of antibodies and what are the functions of different types of antibodies? Let us understand in this video. Now, antibodies are also known as immunoglobulins which are produced by B cell lymphocytes. B cells transform to plasma cells. Plasma cells will secrete these antibodies into the body fluids. The immunity conferred by this is known as humoral immunity. Now, coming to the structures, all of them has got a standard structure. They have a heavy chain and they have light chains. They appear in Y shape. Now, depending on the difference on the heavy chains, they are classified as IgG, A, M, E, D. You can remember them as game D, G, A, M, E, game and D. Now, the names are because of Greek alphabets. G stands for gamma, A stands for alpha, M stands for mu, E stands for epsilon, D stands for delta. Let us see the functions. Now, IgG is most abundant antibody. 80% of the antibody is IgG. Now, IgG activation results in complement system activation. When complement system is activated, it evokes immune response and inflammation. The important point is IgG can cross through the placenta. From mother to child, this immunoglobulin is delivered and child will have immunity because of IgG. The other things, IgG is a monomer. Now, IgG involved in secondary immune response. Understand this, whenever an antigen attacks human body, body evokes an immune response known as primary immune response. Primary immune response is because of IgM. Whereas when the antigen attacks for the second time, body evokes a secondary response and it is because of IgG. So this is about IgG immunoglobulin. The next one is IgJ which is around 10 to 15 percent. Now IgA is known as secretory immunoglobulin because it is present in our mucosal secretions, gast gastric secretions tears and in mother's milk known as colostrum. So breastfed mothers deliver this IgA to the babies, IgA. Now again IgA is a dimer. Unlike IgG which is a monomer, IgA is a dimer. So this is about IgA. Now IgM. Now IgM, uh, the M stands for mu. Now IgM can be of two types. It can be present on beta cell as a monomer or when it is released, when it is secreted, it, it combines with five units and forms a pentamer. So this is the biggest immunoglobulin. Not only that, the blood transfusion reaction, the blood incompatibility reaction, the agglutination is because of IgM antibody. Now IgM also activates complement system. When complement system is activated, immune response is increased. So this is about IgM. The next one, IgE, mostly it binds with basophils and neutrophils and releases histamine. This involves type 1 hypersensitivity or allergy reactions. Not only that, IgE is also responsible for anti-parasitic activity. Now again, IgE is also a monomer. IgD is also a monomer which is present on the B cell, surface anti antibody. So it activates B cells. So this is about all the immunoglobulins. Again, the important points, IgG, abundant aminoglob uh, immunoglobulin or antibody and it can cross placenta. IgA, secretory one, which is delivered from mother to child by colostrum or blessed milk. IgM, the biggest antibody, which involved in primary response of immunity, whereas secondary response is because of IgG. Again, IgA, G and uh, IgM involved in complement system activation. So this is about antibodies. I hope this is useful. Thank you.